This is another numerical expression problem dividing the internet. What do you think is the correct answer to the expression 6 square divided by 2 times 3 plus 4? In simplifying numerical expressions, we need to follow the following order of operations. First, simplify any grouping symbols including parentheses and brackets. Next, we need to simplify the exponents. Then we need to multiply and divide from left to right. And lastly, we need to do addition and subtraction from left to right as well. I will show you the two common solutions to this problem. But I want to emphasize that there is only one answer to this question. First, I will simplify the parentheses 2 times 3, and that is 6. Rewriting the other terms, we have 6 squared divided by 6 plus 4. Now I will simplify the exponent 6 squared, and 6 squared is 36, so divide by 6 plus 4. Most people use the PEMDAS mnemonic which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication division from left to right, and addition subtraction from left to right. So from that mnemonic, we will simplify first the parentheses 2 times 3, and that is 6. So now we have 6 squared divided by 6 plus 4. After parentheses, we need to simplify the exponent, and 6 squared is equal to 36. So 36 divided by 6 plus 4. Then we need to simplify the division. 36 divided by 6 is 6 plus 4. So the final answer is 10. Do you agree with this answer? Now let's have the second solution. In this problem, there are no grouping symbols. Parenthesis here is used as a multiplication. So now I will simplify the exponent 6 squared, which is 36. So now we have 36 divided by 2 times 3 plus 4. In this expression, we have both division and times. So from the rule, I will simplify from left to right. So simplifying first 36 divided by 2, that is 18. 18 times 3 plus 4. The operations involved in this problem are times and addition. So we need to simplify first 18 times 3, which is 54. And 54 plus 4 is 58. So is the right answer 10 or 58? The right answer to this problem is 58. The common misconception about this topic is the use of parentheses. The first thing that you need to simplify all the time are the grouping symbols including parentheses and brackets. Yes, in this expression, there is a parentheses but that parenthesis is not a grouping symbol. It is an operation for times. So this means that we need to simplify first the exponents, and then we follow the remaining order of operations.